This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Klofta Supercharger, and behind me here you see Tesla Model 3 Performance 2021 model. A uh, big shout out to EV Utleje who lent me the car. Um, but anyway, so today I'm going to test acceleration in this one. And the story behind it is that this one has the 82 kilowatt hour Panasonic battery. We tested similar cars this winter, or actually last winter, I mean last winter we tested a similar car. And the problem was that this, the new, the new cars here, they have battery, um, uh, what do you call it? No, it's, they have heat scavenging and heat pump, octo valve. And it was colder back then when I tested last time, but uh, the car kept sucking the heat out of the battery. So when I did the acceleration test, the battery temperature dropped to below 10 degrees Celsius and we started getting performance uh, loss. So that's what we're going to try today. It's not that cold, it's 2 degrees Celsius, but good enough test. It's still winter for many Europeans. So um, we've been charging for a bit, uh, almost done now. Uh, we don't need 100%, we need to charge to about 93, 94% before we do the first launch. Now one thing that is a bit weird is that there is a mismatch between state of charge here and then the one that um, scanned my Tesla report. So I'm not sure which one is the right one. Um, but whatever, it's close enough anyway. Uh, so maybe I'll just trust the one on the display then. Yeah, it's 1% it's difference, but I guess it um, it might be more once we go lower. But so if you see, you're going to be seeing this screen when we do the launches. So if you see some weird numbers here, it's because I, I trust the one in the display, or the car's display. So, all right. And the plan, by the way, is that we will drive over here and do the launches over here. Hope it's going to work. If not, they have to find another uh, spot. But it's a bit wet outside, but that's not too important. We have all-wheel drive, pretty good grip. Uh, so that shouldn't be, yeah. Let me just check the tires, by the way. What do we have here? Um, 235, 45, 18. Oh, really? 18 inch, huh? Um, grip mox, huh? <laughs> well, actually, they, they, they feel okay, yeah. I think in this kind of weather, uh, then the gri grip marks would be pretty good. We'll find out if we get in the wheel spin or not. So, all right, let's do the final preparation and then off we go. Launch number one. Launch number two. Launch number three. Launch number four. Launch number five. Launch number six. Launch number seven. Launch number eight. Launch number nine. All right, we're back home now. So I'm gonna show you the results this time. You see here, that's the old, uh, well, it's the same. Well, actually it's not the same car, but it's the, the old software which happened previous winter. And you see the problem was that uh, the acceleration became worse and worse the further down the scale you came 
versus now, which is way, way more consistent. It's actually slightly faster even after a while. I'm not sure why. Could just maybe the tires heated up. Maybe the the ground was less wet, but super consistent. And then you can see this one here is normalized, where you can see. Um, uh, you see, the, the, the first one is defined as, as 1.0 and then all the other ones is then how much slower is the car accelerating. And uh, the old one, uh, it was so bad, <laughs> really, uh, incredibly bad compared to most other cars. You see that most cars, they uh, even the ID4 is here, okay, uh, it goes fastest in the beginning and then it starts slowing down a little bit. And then this one is then average. And actually for, for the Model 3 performance now, it's super flat. It's actually slightly flatter than e-tron GT. Uh, and what does it mean? And it means that even at low state of charge, you still get more or less the same power output as if the battery was at higher state of charge. It's only beaten by the made in China, which has the LFP battery. That one was super linear. <laughs> uh, but okay, so I'm going to show you this one. This is just for uh, for generic cars. But then we also have this table, which is quite big. It's uh, for all the Teslas with way more detail. And um, what is interesting is that okay, well the temperature, starting temperature was lo uh, lower for that uh, one. It was quite cold when I tested it. I think it was minus 10, minus 15 even uh, when it tested well, the one that says all here but what you should notice is that the problem back then was that uh, the car was programmed to scavenge heat from the battery suck it uh, to to heat up the cabin save energy but it sucked it a little bit too cold and that's why the performance was str uh, taking a penalty uh, and you can see also down here is that the power output was actually a little bit higher before I'm not sure why um, temperature was even lower maybe they just tweaked uh, changed the BMS a bit but you see how the power drops as the temperature here drops uh, and also the acceleration goes slower and slower uh, but it seems like now they uh, okay they try to cool it down just to not um, degrade the battery but then it stays around yeah, 27 degrees Celsius it doesn't scavenge too uh, aggressive and also by the way I also tried uh, yeah this one this one uh, the 82 kilowatt hour I also tested this one recently and you see the same thing there is that it tries to keep okay it was hot, uh, I think it was summer back then so it was a little bit warm outside but you see very similar is that uh, the car would then try to keep it around 30 degrees Celsius uh, because it no, the, the engineers in Tesla they know that uh, if you suck it too cold it's going to be bad. Oh, same, same here by the way uh, I believe that also the long range uh, has been updated well this was the 21 uh, okay this was uh, the I think it was with the LG battery this is the Panasonic battery so if we would retest the one with the LG battery we will probably also get better performance, especially around here, 40%, once it starts to cool down. Actually, over, already yeah, yeah, already at 60, 50%. Uh, it shouldn't cool down the battery too much, which means that uh, if you look here, then at uh, the long range we had back then, where well, we started at 300 something kilowatt and then it dropped. So um, I think if I retested it, it should stay at around 300 kilowatt longer. Yeah. And also the last one here should be uh, maybe 250 kilowatt, just wild guess, based on this. So, yeah, there you guys have it. Uh, this test, uh, many people requested me to test it because many people were, I mean, what was the problem? Well, uh, you saw th this was just 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration, but um, actually for normal driving, if you drive it low, that some people do, maybe even below 10%, but they don't accelerate, you just drive on the motorway people were getting limp mode the car couldn't maintain uh, speed at the motorway that was how bad it was before uh, but also of course you you feel like the car is more sluggish you suddenly get diesel power only <laughs> um, but now like i'm proven now or tested at least it could indicate that it has been it's, they fixed it i heard also from the tesla engineers uh, i know one guy in tesla who worked in hvac they said that they have fixed this and i just needed to verify that it's been fixed so yeah this is good which means that the performance if you buy performance today you will actually get the performance and it's super consistent almost down to zero 
so that is great that means that the performance has been restored <laughs> so anyway i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later